how you doing today? I'm here to show you guys how to do your service and repaste your laptop HP Compact. The model number is CQ43. So if it's running really hot or you want to just do your own service, this video is just for you. So let's get it started. You want to flip your laptop over, remove the battery just by pulling this plastic to the right side or left towards the CD-ROM you want to remove the bottom cover for the RAM Wi-Fi and the hard drive cover in order to remove it you have to start from the this cover right here there's one screw right in the under the battery you have to loosen up the screw you don't have to actually remove it completely just like that and then you want to lift it up the cover slowly and just gonna come out and next you want to remove this other screw which holds the other cover just loosen it up and lift it. there you go now you want to remove the hard drive by removing four screws that holds the caddy one two three four next you want to remove the hard drive just by pulling this plastic thing right here just lift it up next just pull the hard drive up a little bit. Don't pull the cable up. You don't want to stress the cable. Just pull it from the back side. Slowly. And there we go. This is a Samsung hard drive. Uh, 320 gigs. So this is a caddy. And this is the adapter for a SATA to a shorter adapter SATA. SATA. Alright. Next, you want to remove the Wi-Fi cable. If you have two Wi-Fi cable, remove both of them. In this case, there is only one. I have no idea why. Next, we want to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, including the ones under the battery and the ones under the cover, everything. Right. Next, you want to remove the Wi-Fi board by just removing it with the one screw holds it. Just pull it out in 45 degree angle and that's it. Alright, once you remove the screw right under the cover for the hard drive was, this is screw right there. You want to pull your flat screwdriver right inside there and just pull it towards this side so the CD-ROM will just pop out. So remember, you don't want to yank the DVD-ROM from here. You can break the cover. So you just do this and it will come out. Now you can pull it out. That's the proper way of doing it. Alright. Now that we removed everything, just double check that there is no more screws left. So what we're going to do next just go ahead and flip over the laptop, open the screen and you want to grab your guitar pick or any object that which is as thin as a guitar pick, metallic one and you want to put between the keyboard and the frame you're just going to wiggle it around and the keyboard is just going to pop open you want to put it on its back, face down Lift up the lock mechanism, which is right there. Let me zoom in. So you want to lift it up and then pull out the cable. So there you have your keyboard if you want to replace it. Next, you want to do the same thing for the mouse pad, trackpad, and the mouse clicks. Just loosen up the flex cables. Same thing to do for on off switch button right there. Next, you want to remove the one, two, three screws right there. There, once you finish with that, you want to put your fingernail just right in the corner here and put your thumb right on the hinges and just pull it up just like that. Do the same thing for this end and then slowly just lift it up. And there you go. On the bottom side, on the top cover, you can see the on off switch button and touchpad, trackpad, and the clicks. Alright, now down here we have the motherboard. 
and you have the USB extra USB port here and the power jack. So you want to unhook this ribbon cable that connects the extra USB to the main board. Disconnect the speakers right there. Next, you want to remove the flex cable for the screen, just pull it up, and that's it. Put it to one side. Now, we're gonna unscrew the speakers right there, and also we need to unscrew the motherboard on the bottom side. For the speaker on the right side. Next, you want to remove this cable right there, pull it out. This is for the CD ROM. Just go to here. Now, next, you want to just lift up slowly this end so you can remove the USB hub and put the speaker to one side. Lift up this speaker right there. Oh, there's one screw right there. I can't see it from this angle. Remove that too. You can go ahead and lift it up. Put the speaker just right there. Now you can go ahead and lift up the board. While you're lifting up underneath this end, there's a jack. You want to unhook this cable. Just pull it down. This is the one. This is the power jack, which goes right there. Now, you won't be able to pull the board out because the hinge is holding the board right there. So you have to loosen up that one tiny screw which is holding the hinge. I think there's two of them. Yep, there was two of them. And then you want to lift up the hinge a little bit up, put it to one side like that, so you can remove the motherboard. There we have the motherboard. You can put the hinge back down there. Tilt the windows lever towards yourself so it just doesn't lean back. So as you can see, when I lift it up just like that, the heatsink is right there, the CPU is right there. And here underneath, there's supposed to be a video chip, which they haven't added on this model, and VRAM chips right there. And this is a South Bridge chip, which only cools down by this aluminum thing right here, sheet, and this thermal paste, thermal pad right there. So we're going to add some thermal compound on that, and we're going to repaste this CPU. We're gonna remove the four screws that holds the heatsink. You can trash this. Before you do that, you wanna unhook the cable for the fan. Flip it over and remove these four screws. And right after that, you can just go ahead and lift it up. You can see the CPU right there. This is an AMD. I'm gonna grab your alcohol. And go ahead and clean both sides the CPU and the heatsink. Alright, next you want to remove the fan from the heatsink by lifting up these corner edges where the screws are. Right there. So there's one, two, three, four. Four screws. Just go ahead and remove these four screws. All right. Once you remove the screws, you can just go ahead and lift up the fan slowly. And there is this kind of foam tape that holds it. Just remove that. And now you can see all the air uh, dust in there. So we want to clean all the dust. Uh, we also want to remove the fan from the heat from the main base. Just hold it like that and just pull it out. Now we can go ahead and put the oil inside the pan. So let's go ahead and clean up the heatsink first. I use a toothbrush to clean it up. It's really easy.
there. Now to clean the fan, I suggest to grab a working towel, put alcohol, but like lots of it, and gently, I want you to gently put it inside around the pan. Don't push too hard and just rotate the fan just like that. Gentle push, not too hard. Just do it like this. You want to clean all the old oil, anything, all the dirt, which is right there. It stops the fan from spinning faster. Now flip it over and keep cleaning it until it's really clean. All right, next you want to just clean up the fans, the fins on this. Next you want to add the oil, high pressure oil, which is like a resistance to the heat, right inside the pan. About one or two drops, no more than two drops. And next you want to put the fan back on. And there we go, you have a quieter fan. And if you find it's making noise, you need to do this service. Slip it over and put all the screws back in for the fan. Now that we are done with those, we're gonna add the thermal paste compound on the chip. I use an Arctic Silver 5, which is really high quality. Just a little damp right on top of the CPU, just right there. And also I'm gonna move this thermal pad a little bit towards Lift it up, put a little damp of the attic silver underneath and put a little bit on top and add a little more on top of the die on the south bridge. There we go. Now we're gonna put the heat sink back on, just put it gently on top. And then you start cross screwing these ones, don't go around. Just like that. Flip it over and put the fan cable right in. You can trash that you don't need it. And remember you have to lift up the hinge a little bit so you can put in the VGA side down first. While you're doing that, make sure you pull the cable, the speakers out of the way. And before you put it all the way down, plug in the power jack and you can just lay it down. Connect the DVD ROM cable, run the cable for the LCD, plug that in. Be gentle, don't push too hard. You want to break it. Right there. Put the two screws for the hinge. Put the extra USB port in there. The port goes down first and then the speaker goes down on top. It's kind of tricky. Just like that. Plug in the cable, the ribbon cable that connects both of them together, and you're gonna put the screws for those. Also, put the right speaker there. Make sure you run the cable nice and neat. You don't wanna pinch the cable between the plastic, otherwise, you will get no sound. And put the screw on the bottom side of the board and run the cable for the speaker and plug that in you can use a fresh tape if you want just any paint tape will do 
You can be neat about it. Cut it with the scissors if you want. Or if you want to cut it, don't cut it. All depends how you, you want to do it. It's just to hold the cable so it won't go around on top of the hole so you don't actually screw the cables while you put the screws in. Once you're done with this, you want to grab the top cover. Once you have the top cover, plug, put down the top end by the hinges down. Push down it gently. Push down the front end. Just like that. And you're going to put the screw that you took, the three of them. Alright, now you're going to put the power on switch cable. Also, we're going to put the ribbon cable for the touchpad, ribbon cable for the mouse clicks. Alright, now we're going to get the keyboard and plug the keyboard back in. Put the keyboard face down, clean all the dust in there, slide it down. You want to slide it inside underneath and then you want to close it up. Now you're going to flip the cable upward, put the bottom end first. Slide, push the corners, push the top end. You're gonna hear those click noise. That's good. Close the cover, flip it over, and then you wanna grab the Wi Fi board, plug in the cable first, and slide it in 45 degree angle. Push it down, put the screw for that one. From this point, we're gonna start putting all the screws. First, before anything else, put the CD ROM in. Just slide it in. Wiggle it around a little bit. And it should go down. Just press the corners. Then we're going to put all the screws that we removed. Remember, don't put the short one where the long one goes, because otherwise you're going to the screw is going to go from the other end. Alright, make sure that everything is in. That's for the hard drive. We need one short one in the middle. Right there, and the CD ROM. And we're going to put the screws on the back side. Now we're gonna grab the hard drive, put the hard drive down, plug in the cable for the hard drive right there. Just push it down and put the screws for that. Alright, you're done right here. Now the last part is really easy. Put the bottom cover, put the side that they have this clips right there, and then push it down, put the screw in, grab the other one. Slide it down and that's it. Alright guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Click that like button and if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And if you have any comment or any question or request, please leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as quickly as can. And this is how you do your maintenance and service job for your laptop HP CQ43 model number.